Hey y'all, hey, welcome to my channel, Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my returning subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers. Honey, I'm so glad that you are here today. All right, well today we are continuing with our Crafty Reflection series and we are just gonna love and just hug on all of the nuggets that we've been given through this wonderful book titled Knit, Pearl, Pray, 52 Devotions for the Creative Soul, written by the lovely, the awesome Lisa Bogart. And this has been such a blessing. I have received permission to share this wonderful, wonderful devotional with you, and I'm enjoying doing so. It has been a blessing to me, and I hope it's a blessing to you. I cannot wait to share this next one with you. So let's go on and get into it. But before we do, honey, do you have your crafty item? Well, go ahead and grab your crafty item, whether it's loom knit, latch hook, crochet, regular knitting, honey, whether it is water painting, <laughs> watercolor painting, or diamond painting, needle punching, honey, whatever it is, cross stitch, grab you your wonderful crafty item as I begin to share this wonderful nugget with you today, okay? All right. Oh, you're not doing this today? You don't have this to do today? That's all right, honey, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you just go ahead and grab you something to drink grab you some water some coffee some tea and just enjoy yourself honey have a seat relax as i share this wonderful wonderful word with you today but before we get started let us look to the lord in prayer father in the name of jesus i just thank you lord god for today father i just bless you you have been so wonderful and so kind to all of us lord i pray that you would just bless the hearers of this wonderful devotional today lord god father let it help us grow and develop our relationship with you even more. Father, we just want to know you more, Father, and do what you've called us to do in this wonderful, wonderful world. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you've had your hand on us all. Father, just open our minds and give us an ear to hear what you have to say today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. This uh, chapter is titled The Local Yarn Shop. All right, let's go on and get into it. Then he said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. Running a yarn shop takes more than warm and fuzzy feelings. It even takes more than a love of yarn and knowledge of knitting. It takes some business savvy. That's the hard part to remember. Turning a profit to keep the doors open. I have worked in several yarn shops over the years. I've watched as owners juggled expectations and more to try and stay in business. Knitters and crocheters are lovely people. They are, they are pleasant, customers and enthusiastic artists. So running a local yarn shop can be great fun. There are cool benefits. You get to order all kinds of yarn. You can connect, knit celebrities and invite them to your shop. You get to go to trade shows to hunt for the latest notions and sample the latest yarns and hear about the hottest trends. But you have to order what your customers will buy. Each shop caters to a specific clientele. You don't get to buy just what excites you as a shop owner. You must know your customers and be on the lookout for exciting things to entice them. Knitting is a great hobby, but when you turn it into a business, there is even more work to be done. I have been thinking of how running a yarn shop is like the business of living a Christian life. It may look all warm and fuzzy on the outside, but on the inside, it is work. As a Christian, you have the warm feeling of growing in faith with Jesus in your heart. But if you take up your, your cross daily, there is a responsibility of work to be done. It may be a clear road to follow, but not always an easy one. Sometimes that feeling God in your heart nudges you to go out and do a hard and difficult thing. Maybe you will be called to forgive or to serve or to act in ways outside your comfort zone. Or equally as difficult, you will be called to stay within and do the work 
do the hard work of maturing your faith, maybe through study or prayer. Running a yarn shop involves budgets, rent, utilities, payroll, and a long list of other responsibilities. It's not all pretty new yarn and great new patterns. It is labor to keep the doors open, but the reward can be great. Over the years, a shop can become a hub of community activity as well as a source of pride and income. Prayer, study, service. These are a few of the things to keep our Christian life vibrant. It takes work to stay connected to our faith, but the reward is great. We believe in nothing less than eternal life. We are saved by the God of the universe, yet sometimes it feels easy to slack off and walk away from God and his nudges in our heart. But like having a thriving business, the work in our heart pays off. Our connection to God makes our life glow with his spirit. We have partnership that lasts a lifetime. Dear Father, I am walking the road of faith together with you today. I call on your strength to help me continue to grow. I look to you for the guidance to attend to all the tasks you have set for me to, to complete. I know you are with me. Amen. Well, that was absolutely beautiful and wonderful and truth. <laughs> it is. I pray that this blessed you today as much as this has blessed me. Well, hopefully you'll get a chance to meet with me on Wednesday where we will discuss this live 1230 Eastern time on the PM, honey, on the PM side of things, 1230 PM Eastern Standard Time where we can just share and what we discussed today. This has just been a blessing and I pray that it has blessed you as well. All right. So if you need prayer, honey, put it in the comments below and I will pray for you. And if you believe this content has blessed your life, please feel free to hit like, subscribe, and also share if you like, honey. And also ring that bell so you know every time I am in these YouTube streets, honey. Okay. All right. Well, God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Until next time. Bye.